Hey guys, it's Nick from Metro Games HQ, and today I'm talking about a development update for Mython Island. Uh, we don't have a game update yet, but there will be a major game update coming out, which is what the developer Vision Stead Studios is going to be covering in this development newsletter. Now I'm going to just try to hit some of the high points, like he's been working super hard, and pretty much here's what you can expect for the next major update, and there's a lot of content that's coming along, so make sure you pay attention because it, it is a lot, especially considering all we had before was pretty much a roguelite mode. Now, here is some screen sh screenshots of what is to come, uh, and it's pretty much an open world Thing. and he's going to get more into it but these are two screenshots that he's taken in uh, now up top he did say it's up subject to slight changes so this is pretty much what it's going to be looking like now the island adventure mode island adventure mode is going to be the biggest part of the new update it will feature an overworld area for you to explore that's semi-open in which wild mython will appear so unlike the roguelike mode uh, roguelike mode the, uh, this mode will not feature permadeath automatically enabled, but there will be an option to toggle it on and off. You might notice there's also lighting. Uh, the lighting has been completely redone. This has been done for the entire game, and it's more optimized than ever, which apparently has been a consistent goal of his. So this mode will bring you on a different quest than the roguelike mode. He's not going to spoil anything. Uh, but there's going to be plenty of things to do in this overworld. Now, he's been putting a lot of time into getting the map set up correctly and completing any necessary systems uh, that will be required for the game mode compared to the overall roguelike mo game mode. So overall, the map is coming along really nicely with a lot of locations to explore and things to do. I love that it's not just like a small area. It sounds like it's actually going to be a good bit of area to go and look at. So he's currently in the process of finishing up the overworld in terms of assets and locations. He thinks about 70% of it's done. He's then going to proceed to place all the necessary NPCs, shops, events, quests, and more. He's super excited for people to play this game mode and to see what players think. And so am I because it looks freaking awesome. Look, you even have houses and a thing that says interact, which I guess is the Mython storage system. So, thanks to Island Advancements, the Travelers have begun setting up Mython storage centers. Any Mython you bond with while out exploring will have the option to be sent to the storage for future use. Terminals will allow you to access any Mython you have bonded with and add them to your party. Of course, you have the four Mython uh, limit to your party. But the option now also exists in the party menu to change your party leader, your current party leader, which was definitely one of the requested things. Um, by me and a lot of other people, which I'm really glad to see that. You also might notice the new HUD that says interact, which we did see it up there. This will appear whenever you're near something that you are capable of interacting with. So it's going to be multiple things to interact with in this overworld, in this island adventure mode, including the Mython storage system. So Mython log. The Mython log will be introduced in the next big update, not only for the island adventure mode, but also for the roguelike modes. Uh, so it's long, you'll be able to take a closer look at Mython that you've bonded with and discover information about them and that was previously unknown, as well as view the model for that particular Mython. Now, hopefully, of course, it's just my personal thing, but hopefully you can, like, spin them around and look at them. If not, it's still great to just be able to see the model instead of it's obstructed by grass or something else. You have fil uh, yeah, filters, which will allow you to look at a uh, sort of uh, sort by element or just look at it as one big list. You may also notice that the title elements of the UI menus have been completely redone. That's been done for the whole game. Oh, Radiant Forms. Oh, yeah, uh, he he has talked about this before. Uh, so I'm guessing the one on the right is Radiant. one on the left is not. So the Radiant Forms have been added for every single Mython. Radiant Forms are extremely rare forms of the Mython that you have a chance of finding in the wild. They have alternative colors as well as a glowing effect to them. And the Radiants even come with an exclusive skill. Hmm. I hope players will be lucky enough to run into those. Oh, Draft Mode. Okay, let's see what Draft Mode is about. Of course, the game will also feature updates and new things for the roguelike game modes too. The biggest addition will be the Draft Mode. This will allow you to essentially choose how you want to play. Pick your entire team, choose your run settings, permadeath, captures on, story cutscenes, and have access to any items you may want for the run. This provides the ability for players to set the difficulty to settings that they feel like they wish to play with. Of course, the other roguelike modes will still exist and have received updates as well. Now, the main story for roguelike mode has been updated to allow you to not only 
uh, you not only your starting mython, but also an additional choice of a second mython from a small group of mython. Hmm. I found that starting this game mode with two mython rather than just one allows for a much nicer experience overall in the game flow, and I would really like to hear feedback once this update is released on that front. I've done my best to adjust the difficulty levels to a reasonable amount in this game mode, as well as the randomly generated team mode called survival mode, so I hope uh, you will look forward to those as much as I am okay so I'm I, I do like uh well first of all I like the game but I do like the idea of having two which is kind of what you were getting with um oh man I can't believe I'm getting the name now not Lunagon his pre-evolution but you kind of got two but I guess this is going to be different so in addition to all this a lot of other changes have been made to refining certain skill animations redoing certain models refining calculation of battle damage rebalancing skills and status effects adjusting sound levels and overall making the game a much more polished experience so you just saying thank you for taking the time to read this etc etc thank you for the support and that's vision stead studio so I just wanted to make a short little video about this of course it's on my phone but uh, I didn't think I needed something big, and I wanted to put this out immediately. So, yeah, this update just came out. If you're watching it, you were it, it just got put out within the past few hours. So, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, once this big update comes out, you can expect me to replay through the roguelike modes, play through the new roguelike draft mode. Um, you can expect me absolutely to be just doing a playthrough of the Island Adventure I love Mython Island. If you've not gotten it so far, there's going to be a link in the description below, not only to this dev update post, but also to the Steam uh, store page as well. Make sure you get it. It's definitely freaking worth it and a unique experience for the Monster Tamer community. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and Retro on.